In this video, we will cover gateway antivirus on the SonicWall firewall. We will go through the configuration, every single menus. We will also look at logs and exception if you ever need to. Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Talbot, SC for SonicWall in Canada, helping customer and reseller get the most out of their network security solutions. If you're new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. So let's get started. SonicWall Antivirus has a great advantage compared to any other firewall in the market because they're using a patent technology called Reassembly Free Deep Packet Inspection, RFDPI for short. That allows the gateway antivirus to have no file size limit. And I've learned that the hard way when I joined SonicWall a few years ago. I tried to download Backtrack, now it's called Kelly, which is a pre-made ESO file loaded with hacking tools on it. So when I was downloading this file, I remember it was crashing, the download was stopping at 3.7 gig. And I tried with different browsers, I tried an FTP, I tried with different laptops, and it always failed at the exact same place. So then I look at the logs in the firewall and found that Gateway Antivirus found some payload after almost 4 gig worth of download. That is a great advantage SonicWall has over everybody else, because many of many other firewall will stop at a couple meg worth of scanning and everything else after will simply be ignored by the antivirus. Another great advantage of the gateway antivirus is that SonicWall can scan the entire TCP stream. That means that if a virus is trying to make its way in through a non-standard port, we will be able to simply scan them all. That's another great advantage compared to other firewall that are stuck on scanning on standard ports. Before moving on, there are two important points I want to touch on. The first one is, as you know, most, if not all websites nowadays are encrypted. They are, in, they are on HTTPS. That means that the traffic is fully encrypted between the web server and the workstation. Everything in the middle cannot see a thing. All they can see is encrypted traffic. And the firewall happened to be right in the middle. So if you do not turn on DPI SSL on the firewall, the firewall will not be able to decrypt HTTPS traffic and inspect it with all the security services, including gateway antivirus. So it is very important to decrypt HTTPS traffic, otherwise you're missing out on pretty much all web traffic. And second, antivirus is good for known threats viruses that have been seen before. If you guys want to block zero day, unknown threats, new malware cocktail, new variants of any new ransomware, the gateway antivirus is not the best tool for this. The best is capture ATP. Capture ATP is made of 62 antivirus. So just think about any antivirus you know that you've installed on your workstation. Chances are we have it. And also it has four different sandbox engine and they're all based on different technologies. So if for everything that is known threats, Gateway Antivirus is doing a fantastic job. To block unknown and zero day stuff, then you need to upgrade to capture ATP. So the good thing is you need to configure Gateway Antivirus in order to get capture ATP to work. So let's get into Gateway Antivirus configuration. Go into Policy menu, under Security Services and Gateway Antivirus. As you can see, we do have a note on the top to enable Gateway Antivirus per zone. So go into Objects and Zones. My test will be performed from the SonicWall zone, so I will edit the zone and ensure that Enable Gateway Antivirus Service is set to On. I would personally recommend you turn on Gateway Antivirus on every single internal interfaces you may have, DMZ included. Now back into Policy. We will enable Gateway Antivirus and we will enable it for all protocols in both direction, inbound, outbound. SonicWall is one of the very few firewall on the market designed to be performant with every single services on. So don't be shy, turn everything on, including the cloud antivirus database. Next, click on configure. On the top here, you see the disable iCar test virus detection. So the iCar test virus is a file that is totally benign, that will have nothing harmful. It's just a fake virus designed to test antivirus software. And as you can see here, at the moment of filming, it is not available for HTTP download, which I will not be able to show today then. And 
It is also available for HTTPS, but in today's video, we're not turning on DPI SSL, so it won't detect over HTTPS. Then you do have do not scan part of file with a high compression ratio. I personally like this to be off and also a block file with multiple level of zip compression. That would be a file containing a ACE, a zip and containing a RAR and many other format, which I find suspicious and I prefer to block them. Next into signature. On the upper left, you do have a search field. So within in a minute, I will trigger gateway antivirus and we will see the name of the virus, including its signature ID. So you may or may not want to disable a signature if it's a false positive in your case. And now it's demo time. For demo purposes, I will use a real virus because fake viruses are kind of boring in my opinion. So I will try to transfer that virus on HTTP and on FTP and of course through the firewall and we'll see how the firewall react and we'll look at logs as well. Also, it's important to note that all the demo and all the testing that I do apply to traffic to and from the internet. It's just that I didn't feel like throwing a real malware and a real ransomware on the internet. So I want stuff to be contained in my lab. Here, I will try to upload my Tesla Crypt virus using FTP through the firewall. And as you can see, my file transfer failed and FileZilla is trying to transfer the file again. Now we will look into monitor and system log. I will search the IP address of the FTP server. And as you can see, I do have a line of log with gateway antivirus alert where we can see the name of the virus, including the ID of the signature, which is 809. We can go back into the home menu, go into summary and see one virus have been found and we can get more info which machine triggered and what was the virus again. And now let's try again, but this time over web. And as you can see, when I try to download Tesla Crypt, I get a gateway antivirus alert coming from the firewall. Now let's look in the log. And again, I'll use a search. And as you can see, we do have that gateway antivirus that triggered for the same virus and the same signature ID. Thanks for watching. I hope you find that video useful. Next logical step will be to turn on Capture ATP because Capture ATP is your ultimate weapon against ransomware. And you do need Gateway Antivirus to be fully configured for Capture ATP to work. So Capture ATP is your next logical step. That is the next video I will do. So if you're looking at this video in September 2020, it may not have been done yet. So I will put a link to a SonicWall knowledge base. And once I have the video done on Capture ATP, I will simply add it as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.